Old guy DIY video has to do with hauling large rocks with a small tractor. So a friend offered me this rock, said we'll see if my little tractor can handle it. So we have it in the bucket. I have about 500 pounds on the back as a counterbalance. If I set that implement on the back down, then the tractor wants to fall forward. So I'm going to go very slow and easy taking this thing home. It looks like this one's going to be man one, rock zero. So one feature of my rigging, I've made several of these little things that have a, a 3 8 inch hook on each side with only three lengths of chain and they allow me to get whatever length I want. And the other thing is, when I took these bolts and put them through the side of the bucket, so I have good solid attachment points that don't slip, it makes jobs like this a lot easier. And I have videos on this job, as well as making these little things if you're interested. And the other thing I learned here, initially I did them with grade two. The other day I had a grade two bolt snap so I replaced it with grade 8, and I have yet to take the grinder and just cut the end off. Now when I was hauling that rock out, I had to go down this hill. And knowing that I was right at the tipping point, I backed down so the rock was always on the uphill side. So if I had come down nose first with gravity, I think the bucket would have gone right into the ground with the rock. And then I would have had to stop, take the chains off, get the bucket out of the rock, move the tractor around to the downhill side, load it again and go. So my tip is when you have a big load on the front or if you have a steep hill, go down backwards.